most of animators. So today, in Adobe Animate, I'm going to show you how to make a mask. You can take these uh, cool letters here and have a picture in the background come through. Just got to cut out a mask. You can go with the city and go with the or sports athlete, Kobe Bryant, R.I.P. There we go. All right, so first things first, uh, you want to find a picture, picture to use. If you want to use royalty free photos, you can go to pexels.com and you just search for a photo in there. I rec recommend a wide photo. Maybe this might not work unless you want the text going uh, up and down or left and right. Because from left and right, sorry, uh, up or down. Because from uh, left to right, look a little neater. From top down or bottom up, it looks a little different. It'd be a different effect. Well, same effect, it'll just look different. Wouldn't be a, uh, wouldn't look as, as transitional. So for instance, I have an image from Kobe Bryant. I went to Wikipedia, because these pictures are also uh, free to use. Oh, uh, public domain pictures and Wikipedia. I use this one here, and I just kind of move it around, so I just get this part of it here, try to make it look kind of square, I lined it up with the with the stage. Uh, if you like, you can just go to Google Images and just search for a picture of whatever you're looking for. Um, if you're not going to use it for monetary purposes, not for commercial purposes, you can just steal a picture from the internet just for practice. Uh, say, for instance, um, let me think of a character. You can try a Baby Yoda. Images. You can look for one of these long pictures like that one right there. That one looks good. The long width. That one's, uh, that one's brighter, so it looks a lot better than that one. So you can try one of those pictures. That one looks scary. I don't know who made that. All right. So I'm going to go with the city. I think a city will look better. So I'm going to set up in Los Angeles. If it's a major city, most likely there are pictures of it. I tried Anaheim earlier, and I didn't really get a good picture of Anaheim. I like this one right here as a sunset. It's a lot, nice long picture. This one's cool too. Tool. This one is also cool. as these nice, nice bright colors. And I think I'm just going to go with uh, this one here. I like this one, but you kind of can't tell it's LA. It's kind of far away. This one, I guess if you're familiar with the buildings, you'll be able to tell. So I'm going to use this one and use a different one from earlier. All right, so I just clicked it. Just select it. And now I'm going to right-click it. And I'm going to go to Copy Image. You can just copy it. Copy it from the internet. Copy Image. There we go. Back to Enemy. I'm going to go to a, a blank stage. So I'm going to go to File New. Start a new project here. And that resolution there is okay for me. I can change it later. I can actually have the stage match the picture. So I'm going to paste it here. I can right click, select Paste Center. There we go. So as I can see here, the picture is bigger than the stage. This black outline in the back, this black line, that's the stage. Let me zoom out at 50%. There you go. It's a humongous picture. So it's outside of the stage there, outside of the stage boundaries. So what I can do, I can go over here to the Properties panel, click on Dock. Here's the information for my stage, Document Settings. I'll click on Match Contents, and the stage will resize itself to match the picture. There we go. So now the stage is the size of the picture. So I'm going to center stage with, with this button right here, center stage. There we go. Still pretty big. That's okay. Let me zoom out to 40. There we go. Uh, if not, let me undo that. So there's my stage without map settings. This is just one part of this. You don't want necessarily the whole picture. You can just, with the selection tool, hold down the left mouse button on the picture and adjust it to your stage. Let's say, for instance, I just want that. I don't need the rest of it. So only this would be in the animation there. So actually, I think I like that better. I don't really care for that blink background there, nothing going on. So I'll go with this here. I got a horizon there. Cool. And I got some buildings down there. You can see the light coming through there. And there we go. So I'll leave it like that. All right, so this is going to be my background. So I'm going to name this layer background. I'm going to click in here, double click. It says layer one, background, background. Enter, and I want this animation to be, that's worth four seconds. So it's 30 frames per second. So three times four is 12, add a zero in there, 120. So I'm gonna right click over here on 120, right click, enter keyframe. There you go, so I just copy that picture all the way over to frame 120 for a four second animation. Then I'm gonna lock this layer up. Cool, so I'm done with that layer there. That layer is done. There's my picture there in the background. So I lock that one up. Now I'm going to add a new layer. Make sure you click on the square here with the plus sign, not the folder, not the trash can. Trash can is going to delete that layer. 
that folder is going to create a full folder. No need for that. Just click on the uh, sheet of paper here with the plus sign. If you have a previous version of uh, an anime, Adobe Anime, someone with the sheet flipping over with the sheet of paper icon flip, that's about to be flipped over. All right, so now I'm going to use the text tool to type in my text here. I'm going to go over here to text. Text tool on the properties panel. Text tool there. I'm just going to drag across my stage somewhere. Now I'm going to type in there Los Angeles. Caps lock. So make sure the whole thing is uppercase. It'll look a lot better. Los Angeles. There we go. Uh, looks very wide. So let me hit Control A while I'm still in there. All right. I haven't clicked out of it yet. So I typed in Los Angeles and I hit Control A. Now I'm going to go over here to the properties panel and it'll give me the properties for my text. If not, click on object up here, object tab. It'll give you properties for your, uh, for your text. So I'm going to adjust the size so it's about as wide as my stage there. Let's see. I'll let me go wider than that. So that's okay. I'll leave it like that. I'll use another tool later. I want the text to align in the center. So I'm going to go ahead and click on paragraph here, open that up, and select the center icon here for align center, and it'll center it. By default, this is your first time using it, it's going to be over here aligned to the left. So align it to the center of that text box there. Uh, your font, you want to go with the sans serifs font, a font without serifs. By default, this font here will probably be Times New Roman. Probably look like that. So that's cool, except uh, this doesn't look very good. It doesn't look very clean when you create the mask. And then you have these little leftover uh, whiskers, these things hanging off the letters. Doesn't look too cool. So I recommend typing in Arial in there. Arial. Arial font. Enter. There we go. All the rage on the internet now. That's the font and all the memes. So Los Angeles, the letters look very thin. So you're going to want to make those bolder. You're going to want to thick them up. So you're going to click on regular here below that. Oh, click on the arrow. Sorry, click on the arrow. And go with bold or black. That'll make them a lot thicker. Bold or black. I'm going to go with black. It'll be super bold. There we go. Cool. I'm going to go to the free transform tool. All right. There's my letters. I'm going to hover over off the center of it somewhere until my mouse cursor has the uh, four-sided arrow. I'm going to try to center it here on my stage. I'm just freehanding it. There we go. Now I'm going to make the letters taller. So make it as tall as your stage. There we go. I'll make it a little wider. There we go. Make the whole thing fit inside the stage. The idea is to make it tall. So you want the, um, the letters to be humongous so that you can get more of the background coming through it. Because if you can't see the background through the letters, then you're not going to be able to tell what that background is. If your letters are really small, really thin, you're not going to see the background. You want to have a nice, uh, thick, tall letters in there. All right. There we go. That's looking good. Notice it's all done in layer two. So I'm going to click in there. I'm just going to name that one text. It's going to be my text layer text. All right. There's Los Angeles. Let me go back to selection tool. Click on Los Angeles there. And this is being done in frame 120. Now I'm going to convert this into a symbol. So make sure your text is selected. Right click, select convert to symbol. And I'm going to name that text underscore LA. No spaces. Remember, when you name a symbol, avoid using spaces. You can use an underscore, but no spaces. And make sure the type is movie clip, movie clip. If it's your first time using a symbol, by default, it will be movie clip. If uh, you follow the tutorials in my other videos, then it might be a graphics. You want to change it over to movie clip, movie clip. And center registration, of course, there. That's already center. The square in the center is black. If one of the ones off to the side is black, Click on the center one so it's center registration. That'll kind of be like the pivot point center of gravity. All right, then OK. Cool. There you go. Now it's a symbol. Uh, before frame 10, there's nothing there in the, tech, in the, in the text layer. So what I'm going to do is select this uh, frame here, frame 120. I'm going to right click it. I'm going to select copy frames. I'm going to copy it. Copy frames. There we go. Now I'm going to go over here to frame one. I'm going to right click it and paste frames. Make sure it's exactly frame one of the uh, text layer. Paste frames. There we go. Now I'm going to move it off uh, off of the stage. You still see the outline of the stage there. Selection tool. I'm going to hold on the shift key. That way it helps uh, line it up. I don't have to worry about it going off the, uh, the stage there. It goes nice and straight to the left there. There we go. Just off the stage like right there. Cool. All right. So from frame 1 to 119, I'm off the stage. And then at 120, I jump onto the stage. So I want to tween that. 
So I'm going to right click in here between 1 and 119 of the text layer. Just right click, create classic tweet. There we go. Play button. Cool. Play button again. So it goes into my stage right there. There we go. So we're almost done. Now we just have to add the mask. So I got the animation there. Now I want the background to come through the uh, through the stage there. So on the text layer, I'm going to right click it and select mask. And there it is. Bam. Already masked there. Play button. Bam. So it's getting some of the image there off to the side. That's okay. The final product, you're only going to see what's in the stage. Uh, if you don't want your stage to be white, just go over here to the properties panel, click on dock, and change the color of the stage. So let's say you're going with the Lakers theme. You can make the stage purple or gold. I'm going to go over here to stage. It's going to make it black. Or any other sports team, whatever team you like, you can go with your team colors there. All right, so play button again. Bam. Control enter. Let me get a preview of that. go all right so it works there so if you notice in the uh, preview animation uh, once it reaches the end there it just blinks and starts over again so you might not be able to catch what it says there you might not be able to read it in time so what you want to do is uh go out about 30 frames so about one full second from your last frame so from 120 go over to 150 right click it Insert a keyframe so I can copy that information over. And same thing for the other layer down here. Right click, insert keyframe. There we go. Now we hit control enter, and then you'll see Los Angeles there at the end. You'll see your text at the end for one full second so you can read it. And there it is. Bam. So now you only get a second to read it, so make sure you're a fast reader. There you go. Let's see. Uh, you want to put these out further, maybe two seconds, so at um, 180. But there you go. So now I'm going to save this file. Save as. Uh, I guess save it. I can save it in there. Let's see. LA Sunset. Uh, FLA file. So it's my uh, enemy file. So I can go back and edit it again. Save. All right. Now for my video file, I'm going to go to File, Export, Export media, uh, Video Media. There we go. And entire movie there. Not selecting those. Uh, same name is fine. Uh, H.264. Cool. That, that means it's going to be in, um, an MP4 file. I can upload it to social media. And I don't want to use that there. So I'm just going to export. Create a movie there. All right. So I'm going to go check it out. So I went to my folder looking for the file. And... Um, it wasn't there, and it's still, even though I told it not to, it still gave me the Adobe Media Encoder. That's okay. I'll just uh, hit the play button here. And then this time I will find it inside my folder. There we go. So I'll go back over my folder. It's still going. i to wait for it. it. Let me know here it's done. There it is. Got the check mark. Good to go. All right. LA Sunset. There's a .fla file. I got to look for the video file. Says it's on my desktop, so let me go check out my desktop. It's been six we created, in. cool. And that's gonna be right over where there it is LA Sunset.mp4. Boom. There it is. You can uh, bring in a picture of yourself, have your name there, a uh, picture of a loved one, have their name on your face, have a car have the, give the name of your car or another you know, car there, whatever you want. So cool, fun trick. Makes things look really cool. A mask. Thank you for watching. Have an awesome day.